Okay, now in this part of the video, we are going to discuss the microscopic structure of the bone. Right, let me turn on the highlighter here. Okay, there you see that this is the long bone which has a longitudinal section and as you can see the outer membrane or outer surface of the bone that is called the periosteum and from the, this inside there is present the endosteum. Right? So you have, you have studied the structure of the long bone that it has three parts, the two end parts and one middle shaft. The end parts are called epiphysis and the middle shaft part is called diaphysis. If you take the cross section of the bone, you come up on this enlarged diagram where you can see that the bone material is laid in the multiple layers that is called lamellae, lamellae layers, right? So these are the different lamellae, one layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, and then you can see the circular structures or the cell-like structures are the elongated cylindrical structures which are the wrapped layers of the bone material. Uh, encapsulating the blood vessels, blood veins, and lymphatic vessels and nerves within that within the bone. Right? So these circular parts are the functional unit and structural unit of the bone, which is called an osteon. O S T E O N osteon. Right? And these empty canals within which the membrane within which the veins are uh, encapsulated, these are called central canal and these central canals of the multiple osteoms are linked together are interconnected right so that they have a connection in between the blood vessels these perpendicular canals are called perforating canals okay so this is the general structure i repeat when we take the cross section of the bone and zoom it out zoom it out we see that bone material the whole bone is covered with a membrane called periosteum which has the cellular layer and the fibrosis layer and this periosteum covers the bone from the outer side and from the inside there is the endosteum present then the bone laid out into uh, the lamellar form of lamellate different structures right and then there are circular cylindrical things which are called osteon which is a structural and functional unit of the bone and osteon has the multiple layers of the bone materials covering the uh, a cavity called central canal and all the central canals of different osteons are connected together with the perforating canal now take one osteon and zoom it out here you see this multiple layers of the bone material and between these layers you can see these darker cells so these are osteocytes right so these are the cells which are once producing the bone material have now been encapsulated within that the, their own produced bone material into the empty cavities right and if we zoom it zoom in uh, one of this uh, osteocyte we can see this they are covered in the empty space called lacuna and each lacuna has pro projections or the cracks around it so that these cracks connect to the next osteocyte and so on and so forth and these cracks are used for the movement of the materials chemical signals between the cells that they can communicate and also for the movement of the nutrients between the osteocytes so that they can nourish each other right so this is uh, about the general structure of the bone and here you see the uh, microscopic uh, cross section of the bone where you can see the central canal here then these are the lamellae, lamellae concentric lamellae and these darker points are the osteocytes present in the lacuna and these cracks like structures in the bone you can see they are canaliculi right so between the rings i said uh, the lacunae or cavities are present which has osteocytes and they have these smaller cracks they are called canaliculi you see these cracks are connected towards to each other the central canal holding the blood vessels and nerves that parallel to the longest dimension of the bone is surrounded concentric cylinders of the bone called lamellae osteocytes are found between each lamellae and they are connected with canaliculi and the, each central canal is connected with each other by the perforating canal. So this text is uh, actually what I have already explained in the first diagram. Right? So you can read it through and you can understand it.